You want to to go ahead and um, yeah. lay your baby down in the crib? Sure. On their back and in the crib. Very so good. the ABCs. A simple lesson at Eastern Virginia Medical School. Three steps, like they said, alone on your back in the crib. But those three steps can help reduce a baby dying accidentally by 75%, according to doctors. Putting them in the crib on their back is very important. The hard truth is that not enough parents in Hampton Roads follow that rule. Across Virginia, nearly 60 babies died in 2016 because of SIDS, that sudden infant death syndrome. 32 of those babies were from our area. I know. Sakira Green is a mother of two, part of a growing group of parents educating themselves on the basics. Absolutely, it can prevent a lot of infant deaths, a lot. And it has. The total number of deaths is down thanks to educational efforts like this one Thursday. But there's still one facet of SIDS that hasn't improved, something that's hard to resist for parents because it comes from a place of love. But she will try to get into bed with us and sleep with us. Dr. C.W. Gowen from CHKD, he says an accidental suffocation is five times more likely to happen when a parent sleeps with their baby in the bed. It's fine to have time with them in the beds, but when you go to sleep, it's best to put them in a crib beside the bed. It's a reminder to follow the ABCs, alone on their back in the crib, a lesson that'll let us all sleep a little easier. In Norfolk, I'm Philip Townsend, 13 News Now.